Why would somebody want to be a raft guide? They're not in it for the money, that's for sure. I think this job definitely teaches you more about yourself because you know you get put into these situations where you really have to rely on yourself you really have to see like what you're made of so you learn a lot about yourself but you also learn to be in this leadership role just considering that you know these people show up you tell them to wear uh, shoes that are going to stay on your feet you take their keys and then like you know for better or worse their safety is in your hands This training course is uh, a little more open. It's geared towards anyone who's looking for employment with oars. Then we also have people who are private boaters and want to get into private boating. And they're just looking to you know, gain as much skill as they can so they can go out and recreate safely with their friends in whatever capacity they're looking for. When I'm holding onto my paddle, it's one thumb under, four fingers over. Hand is a little bit more than halfway down on the paddle. I'm not paddling like a dinosaur, like a T-Rex, but I'm not doing this either, okay? We try to teach him like a, a lot of the stuff that you want to know on the daily basis if you're a raft guide. Guide strokes. How to watch out for hazards and how to watch out for themselves. The gear, the prep, the before and after every trip, how to tie boats, how to guide all the rapids, how to deal with certain scenarios and situations that might arise on the river. They learn how to cook a lot of meals, ropes, knots, how to unwrap a boat, how to ride a boat, and um, how to care for the guests. And we'll walk on down no, I've never been on white water in my life. <laughs> this was the thing. Um, I like adventure. Yeah, and it's challenging. It's a skill set that I think is valuable. Whether or not you become a guide or you know, or just doing it for your own private excursions. It's a skill set that uh, keeps you safe and makes it more fun because uh, you know you're going to make it through, but you can do the bigger things. Basically, being a raft guide is, um, I don't know, it's the true expression of being outdoorsy, just enjoying the moment, being out there, showing people a good time. And no day on the river is going to be the same. It's always interesting. There's always something fresh going on. Um, either the people are different and you learn the crowds. Uh, the river is always giving you new challenges. So it's the type of job that, for me at least, it doesn't get old. I definitely wanted a raft guide because it seemed like a very engaging activity. Um, I really did not pay attention to a lot of things at that point in my life, so I was really excited that this was like an activity that demanded attention a lot of times. I think that when you first want to become a raft guide, it's because you see just all the action shots of white water and just like running really gnarly stuff when really that's only a quarter of the job and you just realize all these cool relationships that you're making, especially with other guides. And uh, it's hard to leave once you have those friendships and experiences with people. We're good. This right here is a catch base, pull base, and then Forward, right side only. Okay. Let him solve it. Let him solve it on his own. You're gonna hit it. Hit it straight. Okay. I'm hitting it straight. All right. All right. Good. All right. I I have a question. Okay. 